Hi everyone, this is Dennis Pan again from SAP. Uh, today we'll talk about restaurant search chatbot on request.ai for part two. Uh, this part we are talking about integration of the chatbot you created on request.ai to that of Slack. Uh, so it is good for you to create a chatbot on request.ai, but it does no good just by sitting there forever. You need to get it out to the world so that people can use it and you know have practical use of it. Uh, basically, it's like you build a car, but it does no good just sitting in the garage. You have to take it out and drive it around to have a practical value of what you have created. Uh, the same idea for is for chatbot you created in request.ai. You have to get it out of the garage and put it in the real world on um, platforms such as Slack, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, Line, you name it. And let's get started. So first of all, um, if you log into your request.ai uh, account, uh, last time I talked about how to create a uh, food search chatbot. Uh, and here is food for you demo. And, bef and we have to click on the connect tab uh, for us to have access to the Slack integration or any other integration. Uh, so before you start deploying that your chatbot on uh, Slack, uh, we need to test it just to make sure everything's running. So just say, I'm hungry. Okay, good. Uh, restaurant. And what type of restaurant did you say? Uh, Indian food. Oops. Uh, we say Korean food. Sometimes it doesn't work all the time, so we have to check the logic of that. But basically, uh, things should be okay. So what you want Korean food restaurant at what city? I just say Boston. So in a nutshell, uh, this chatbot is working. So let's click on results to see if it's searching for uh, restaurant, Korean restaurants in Boston on Yelp. And indeed it does that. All right, there are 302 uh, Korean restaurants in Boston. Now let's start the integration uh, of our request.ai chatbot with Slack. So we click on this. And we can start the Slack uh, and the request.ai integration. So first of all, you need to create a Slack app that correspond with the chatbot you did on request.ai. Uh, let's copy a link address and put it here. Okay, so I want to create a new Slack app. Let's call it food for you cool demo. And I want to develop the Slack this on a test-based Slack workspace. This is the one I created myself for testing purpose. So you create an app. After you create an app, you have to get your credential. So you have to go to settings and basic information to get your credential. And you need to put in client ID. So here's my client ID. And uh, okay. Here's my client 
client ID. So I want to get tokens. And now you have OAuth URL and event URL. So everything is looking good. So add a new Bob user. So we go to Bob user. Uh, we need to add a Bob user. And it is a food for you cool demo. So we add Bob user. And now we have to save changes. So when they have a save button, always click on it because you don't want to lose everything. Otherwise, everything will not work. So let's set the OAuth redirect URL. So we go to auth, OAuth and permission. Uh, please do not click on install app to workspace because if you do that, uh, basically uh, your app on Slack will no long will never work in becoming uh, connecting with the chatbot on recast.ai. So everything you do will fail. So do not click on this. Uh, if you want to install the app, you have to go to one of the last steps uh, in the tutorial. So just ignore this and keep going. So uh, in the redirect URLs, uh, you want to add a new redirect URL and you, it wants you to fill the redirect URL with OAuth URL. So here's OAuth URL. We copy that, paste it, and add. And you have to save URLs. Again, save, save, and save. OK, so we have to embed interactive messages. Uh, things have changed since the tutorial has been written on Recast.ai. So we have to go to interactive components. Uh, so you have to click on on for interactive component to enable it. <laughs> and uh, uh, for the request URL, we want to paste the event URL, which is this one. Event URL. So I click on copy. Uh, and then I put on the event URL. Save changes. And we have to fill in event redirect URL. Uh, so we have to go to event subscription. We have to enable it. And you have to be careful now. Uh, you have to be careful where you put uh, the new link for events URL. Uh, so first of all, for request URL, you still type in the uh, event URL. So just to be sure, it's verifying. Everything's good. All right. Uh, you have to subscribe to bot event. So you scroll down here. Uh, you have to add bot user event. So, so maybe let's uh, messages.channels and messages.im. We have to save changes. Success. Now, after all this is done, you have to add my bot to a Slack channel. So, uh, so if you to again to add your bot to a Slack channel, basically you have to use this link to do that. Uh, as I have said uh, in the basic information tab uh, or in other tabs, uh, there is a button for you to install your app onto the Slack, but don't fall for that. Go to this link on the tutorial for recast.ai. That's the correct way to make sure your chatbot will work on your Slack. Uh, otherwise, you will regret. All right, so 
it's asking for permission to install that to Slack. So I have to authorize. After you click on authorize, you should have a little toast saying your bot is connected to your Slack app, which means uh, your Slack app now is able to connect to the food for you chatbot we created in Request.ai. So uh, I hope it is working. So this is my test space uh, on Slack. Okay, we have the food for you uh, cool demos. I hope everything is working. Uh, so I'm hungry. Good, so it is working. So, um, so let's say restaurant. So, restaurant. Okay, so it's asking what kind of restaurants. Uh, maybe just say uh, German restaurants. So remember, um, this chatbot uh, is actually not a Slack chatbot. It is a Recast.ai chatbot. So basically, uh, request.ai chatbot, you create a food for you, is sitting in request.ai. And basically, uh, Slack, in this case, is actually a window for request.ai chatbot to communicate with you. But it's on a uh, uh, Slack. Basically, it's like you're talking to another coworker, uh, but the coworker is not next to you. He's uh, talking to you remotely, and he's just using uh, uh, Skype uh, to talk to you. It's not like the person is sitting in Skype. So the same idea for here. Okay, so it's asking you want German food restaurant at what city? I just say uh, Chicago because I heard there's a lot of um, German restaurants and Polish restaurants in Chicago and Midwest. Okay, so it's searching for uh, if you click on results, it will search for German restaurants at Chicago. Indeed, it is searching for German restaurants in Chicago, and we only have 40 German restaurants in Chicago, which is quite surprising. I was expecting 300 of them. Well, maybe uh, Wisconsin is the best bet in terms of finding German restaurants. But anyway, uh, so... That's it. Uh, so we, I showed you how to integrate your request.ai chatbot with Slack, uh, and you know, uh, hopefully this is something you will enjoy. And uh, hopefully, uh, so basically follow my instruction, and you should see something similar. Uh, good luck on creating other uh, chatbots using chat platforms like request.ai, and uh, have fun here. All right, have a great day. Bye.